Hello, and welcome to this video, Azure Storage Destination for Extract Universal. You will learn how SAP data can be extracted into an Azure Cloud Storage instance. This instance can be either an Azure Data Lake or a blob storage. This tutorial is part of our Extract Universal video series. If you aren't already familiar with Extract Universal, please view the video found in the link below. In this example, we will write data to Azure Blob Storage. We'll start in Extract Universal. You can see a list of data extractions that have already been defined. To define an Azure destination, select an extraction and open the destination settings. And select Edit for our Azure Storage destination. Here we can choose whether to connect to the instance with an access key or via Azure Active Directory. If the connection settings are correct, the connection test is successful. We can now select the Azure storage container into which the data should be extracted. Let's specify a folder path where the data should be stored. We can choose CSV or Parquet as the file type. Click OK to save our settings. Alternatively, the connection to the Azure Blob Storage can be established via the Azure Active Directory. The connection then works via an OAuth flow, which must be set up in the Azure portal. The other settings are identical to those by Access Key. Now let's have a look at the other destination settings for the data transfer. You can choose the blob type and also define a folder path where the data in the blob container should be written. You can use file splitting for dividing the extraction into smaller packages. The file name can be based off of the extraction or given a custom name. Confirm the settings by clicking OK. The extraction can be executed from the Extract Universal Designer with customizable extraction parameters. Upon completion of a successful extraction, the last run status will be displayed as successful. In Azure Blob Storage, select the storage container and folder where the extracted data was sent. You now have a successful connection between your SAP environment and Azure Cloud.